Hi, I'm Dave Scott, and I've got a nice drill for people that feel like you sink a lot in the water and at times uh, you're having difficulty getting your breathing rhythm going. What can you do on that freestyle stroke? Uh, I like to add fins, and I've got the freestyle floating fins here in front of me. They're real pliable, so even for a beginner or novice that's starting out, uh, they allow a lot of mobility in your hip and your knee and your ankle joint, and you get that dynamic stretch. So uh, they're a nice set of fins. So we're doing the fins with the freestyle stroke. What are the advantages of doing this? Typically, you're off balance. In other words, if I breathe to my right side, I have generally better rotation with that left shoulder down, right shoulder nice and high, because I want that inhale. So you can practice offside breathing or alternate breathing with these fins on, because it'll give you more time allowing that support and that added buoyancy and strength from the fins on the back end. So you can mix up your breathing pattern from your regular side breathing to alternate breathing to offside breathing. And lastly, you can allow a little more length on each stroke. So you can feel the stretch all the way down your lats and through your core. So freestyle with fins. You can put this in your drills in the warm up. If you feel like you're stiff on your main set, put your fins on. One caveat and one warning. Be careful that you don't press straight down and you get that elbow below your wrist joint line because that's where people have a lot of shoulder problems where they end up pressing straight down. It's easy to get away with kind of a rough, ugly looking front end of your stroke by doing that. So make sure you have a nice high elbow set. Take a look at this ATV video and, and you'll get a few more tips to kind of polish this technique. Good luck. Macy, we've got your fins on, you're tethered at the waist, and we've got the flow at your feet. I see a lot of people doing this because they can go really slowly and their stroke just falls to pieces. So the only purpose of doing this is to work on that front end and to make sure that you're thinking about the objectives of proper freestyle mechanics. Yeah. You know, what's that arm doing in the front? Are you dropping your elbow? Are you keeping it up nice and high? Are you setting that elbow on that front end and releasing it all the way down to mid thigh at full extension at yeah. the end? So putting the fins on allows you to kind of cross the right side with four or five strokes and then think about the left side. You can kind of go back and forth and maintain a nice steady kick on the back end. Minimize the flexion in your knees. So again, when we do this in the ATV, we can do proper freestyle mechanics and we just don't want it to go to pot. Okay, right, give it a whirl. Okay, good. My only quick comment is you still want to put that thumb in the water first. We want those hands flat when they come in. It's like a mail slot. Those fingers slide in all together. And sometimes teaching to the extreme where you actually put your little finger in. Well, no one swims like that. But you can say, well, okay, I'm going to try that just to please Dave. I'll put my little finger in. And then hopefully you'll feel the difference between here, here, and we compromise and we have it perfect. Okay? Right in the middle. Okay. Next time.